Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, February 5th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Nini and our energy mantra for today is Om Anadam Nama. And this means my actions are blissfully free from attachment to outcome. And I think this is going to be kind of important today. You may already be feeling this funk going on. We have an interesting connection between Venus and Pluto and the moon happening. Venus, Pluto, and the moon are all going to be on top of each other. So I always like in planets being on top of each other, kind of being like children. So you have one child, and then you add another, and then you add a third. And it's like, we have a zoo in the room. <laughs> That's kind of this energy. And this energy may feel intense. We are in the dark of the moon, which is stirring up some old stuff. We have Venus, which ties us into our talents and our worth. And then we have Pluto and Capricorn, which is like, clear the stage, we're changing the whole thing. <laughs> Not to mention on top of that, we have Mars in conjunct Uranus and the moon squaring Uranus. So today's like, whoo. It's, it's not easy energy. Um, but one of the messages that came through really loud and clear for this, it's actually a line I wrote down earlier this week, and I was like sitting here with the astro, and I was like, what? What is this? What is this energy? And this line popped like right up for me. It's all the world's a stage that we pass through. This is a stage. This is temporary. <laughs> this is a piece of your process. This is a piece of your path. This has potential to really unlock some of that stuff that's been held on in there that you haven't been able to move through, some of the shadow stuff that needs to come up and be released so that you can step into that passion, so that you can step into your authentic vibration, so that you can be blissfully free from attachment to outcome. So anything that comes, if it feels like a, ugh, a gut punch or a heart wrench thing, this is your opportunity right now to shift. How is this working out for me? Where is this showing me some of this lower chakra stuff that needs to shift? This also is tying us into some of our lessons from last week. We had Mercury and Pluto last week, which may have stimulated your mind around some of these issues. This actually comes as some healing and resolution. Don't fight what's coming up. <laughs> Be blissfully free from attachment to outcome. Don't Fight this. Don't try to control what's coming up. Allow it to come through so that you can really transform and heal this energy. There's a huge opportunity in this. Um, I also feel like there's kind of an opportunity like matrix thing. Are you going to take the red pill or are you going to take the blue pill? I feel like the, you know, you get to decide that if you're going to fight it, try to control it, try to manipulate it and step it back, or if you're going to be like, okay, here it is. I gotta pass through this stage. I gotta pass through this stage. Bring it on, universe. <laughs> I do want to mention in this that there's a lot of seven and eight energy. We have um, the moon and Neptune connecting at eight degrees. So responsibility to spirit. That's a responsibility to surrendering, allowing this path. And then uh, we have all the Pluto, Venus, moon stuff. That's all happening at 16 degrees. That's at seven. Surrendering this as part of the path. And then again, finally, at the end of the day, the moon with Uranus at 17 degrees. So that eight energy again, um, which is that responsibility. Be responsible. Be responsible to your authentic energy. And you're going to pass through the stage. You know, this is okay. We've got this. We're all going through it together. So also be easy on other people as they're feeling that old control and fighting. You know, we fight these things. We fight these emotions, we fight these things that don't feel good and we just have to be present with ourselves to process through because there's a gift at the end of, of that process. And if we can surrender to this energy that's coming up, we get the gift of nothingness and healing. And nothingness is the card of pure potentiality. There are some things in your vibrational escrow, if you listen to Abraham, in your, uh, that you're wanting to carry in but you have to process through this and let go of these energies before you can get to this place of healing and pure potentiality. So this is it for today. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Good luck to you. Be gentle with yourself. Be loving with yourself. Book a reading if you'd like more insight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.